I'm Andrew Emerson, chemical engineer at Biohumanetics, maker of Humagrow. I'm Kazuyo Shihashi, formulation chemist at BHN. In this video, Kaz and I are going to introduce you to our liquid humic acid product, Humapro 16, and see how we can mix it with some other liquid fertilizers for field applications. Let's start with a brief overview of humic acids. Humic acids are among the most organic of all agricultural input products. They are only created in nature during a process in which layers of dead plants are decomposed through the aid of microorganisms and the mineralization process. Over time, in some cases for millions of years, these layers are compressed into humic shale or soft coal. In the video, you can see the stratified layers of humic acid source material at our New Mexico mine. It's documented that humans have been using humic acids to aid plant growth for over 500 years. Modern science has shown that when they are applied to agricultural soil, humic acids can improve root mass and growth, enhance nutrient availability and uptake, and result in higher crop yield and quality. On screen, you can see the results of a Rutgers University study showing tomato seedlings growing without and with Humapro. Humic acids are often applied to unplanted agricultural fields as solid granules in the fall or early spring where they slowly break down over time to improve the soil. The video shows our Humaburst 1 to 3 mm granule as an example. Sometimes though, a grower may need to give his or her soil a humic boost after the plants are already growing. This is when a liquid humic acid, such as our Humapro 16, can really be of benefit. Typically, a grower will mix the liquid humic acid with irrigation water, and in most cases, as you can see in the video, the liquid humic acid will mix well and not clog up the machinery. If the irrigation water is known to have unusual properties, such as low pH or very high mineral content, it's a good idea to jar test a sample before application. Things get more complicated, though, when mixing with other agrochemicals. One of the definitions that scientists use to define humic acids is that they are only soluble in water under alkaline conditions. This causes a problem when growers want to mix a liquid humic acid with other agrochemicals that are lower in pH than about 8 or 8.5. As you can see in this video where we're mixing a Humapro 16 with the common nitrogen fertilizer UAN32, which has a pH of about 7, the liquid humic acid precipitates into little, and sometimes not so little, globules that can gum up irrigation equipment. Humapro 16 is definitely a powerful humic acid. Just to show that this is not a problem unique to our Humapro 16, here is a video showing a competitor's 12% liquid humic acid also being mixed with UAN32. The same precipitate occurs. There is a solution to this problem. The chemical interaction that causes the humic acid to precipitate in an acidic mix can be prevented by creating a humic acid premix before adding it to the other agrochemicals. Mix 6 parts water with 3 parts Humapro and 1 part 50% potassium hydroxide solution such as our super potassium. Make sure to keep it well stirred or agitated. This means that if you wanted to apply 2 gallons of Humapro 16 to an acre of crops using sprinklers, you would premix 4 gallons of water with the 2 gallons of Humapro 16 and 2 thirds gallon of super potassium. Then you would add this premix to the other agrochemicals you want to apply at the same time. Again, make sure to keep the final solution well stirred until it is used and use it on the same day. Now, on the right side of the screen, watch what happens when we apply the Humapro 16 KOH premix to UAN32. For comparison, on the left side we're again showing what happens when humic acid is applied without a potassium premix. The high pH of the potassium hydroxide in the premix prevents precipitate from forming. The positive result of the 631 humic acid premix is not limited to use with only UAN32. Here it is mixing with UAN28. Here the premix is shown working with another common liquid fertilizer, 1034 And again, here it is working with the liquid fertilizer 6246. And here it is working with 28005.
And just to show that the principle doesn't only apply to Huma Pro 16, here we've created a premix using a competitor's 12% liquid humic acid and our super potassium mixed with UAN32. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop us a note at info at humagrow.com and we'll get back to you. Bye. Humapro 16 is an activated liquid carbon source derived from oxidized subbituminous coal mined from Upper Cretaceous Fruitland Formation geologic deposits in the San Juan Basin of New Mexico. It is a 16% humic acid, based on the colorimetric analysis method, that treats unbalanced soil conditions caused by a lack of humic acid, promoting a stronger, healthier soil for sustainable plant growth.